In the time before time, the world of Azeroth consisted of one massive continent known as Kalimdor. The most successful inhabitants of this strange land were the Night Elves. At the center of their civilization laid a lake of incandescent energies. This lake, known as the Well of Eternity, served as the heart of the world's beauty and magic. For ages past, the Night Elves lived a life of great peace and prosperity. However, this life was not to last forever. Within the night, Elves society were the Highborn, led by the beautiful Queen Ashara, who developed the ability to control the Well of Eternity's cosmic energies. After becoming corrupted from absorbing the Well's waters, the Highborn began to use their new powers for sinister purposes. reckless use of magic soon attracted the attention of the great demonic race known as the Burning Legion. <laughs> Through manipulation, Queen Ajara and her Highborn were tricked into summoning portals, which allowed the demon's passage into Azeroth from the Twisting Nether. And thus began the great war known as the War of the Ancients. Great cities fell to the demons as they commenced their war on Asgore. Though the brave Night Elves stood their ground, many fell to the fury of the Legion's onslaught. Eventually, a wise scholar named Furion Stormrage discovered that the Well of Eternity was the demon's link between their two worlds. Determined to end the Legion's invasion, he rallied many great allies to aid him. Among them was the great demigod, Cenarius. His powers over nature allowed him to command the forests to do his bidding. Another faction were the powerful Dragonflights, the guardians of the world. While they preferred to not interfere with the affairs of mortals, the Burning Legion threatened their duty of safeguarding all life. Finally, there was Tyranda Whisperwind, the future leader of the Night Elves. She is also Furion's beloved and the High Priestess of Elun. United, Furion led his allies to attack Queen Ajara's tyranny and destroyed the Well of Eternity. Yet, the Night Elves' victory over the Legion came at a heavy price. The Well's destruction resulted in a massive explosion that tore the world apart. Devastated from this catastrophic event and the loss of their homes, the Night Elves abandoned their use of magic in fear of another world sundering. Those who survived the explosion eventually made their way to the only landmass in sight, Mount Hyjal, 
While the night elves hoped to rebuild their civilization, a familiar presence awaited them in the nearby lake. Illidan Stormrage, the brother of Furion, had defiled the waters of the lake with the energies from the destroyed well. In his lust for power over magic, he ultimately created a new well of eternity. For his crime, the now called Malfurion sentenced his brother to be imprisoned. The Night Elves' watchers, led by Maiev Shadowsong, were entrusted to ensure Illidan remained sealed in his chamber for all eternity. Safeguard the well, and to prevent the demons from returning to Azeroth, Malfurion and the Dragonflights made a pact. A great tree was to be implanted to grow over the well of eternity and protect its magics. This tree, named Nordrassil, would stand as a symbol of the Night Elves' bond with nature. The tree was also blessed to allow the Night Elves to never age or fall prey to disease. All was well until Malfurion and the Night Elves were instructed to meet with the ancient oracle. Why is it you have summoned us here, Ancient One? I have foreseen a dark future ahead for your people, Shando Stormrage. Take heed to my words as I inform you of my prophecy. The demons seek to destroy Azeroth and vow this to their last breath. In ten millennium's time and through mortal works, the Legion will return to incur death. The Night Elves and Demons will battle once more. Yet only one race will survive the dawn. Despite the Oracle's prophecy, Malfurion and the Druids were required to uphold their end of the pact of protecting the Well of Eternity. They agreed to allow their spirits to roam the infinite parts of Isera's Emerald Dream, a spiritual realm which exists outside the boundaries of the physical world. Ensuring the flow of nature from the Emerald Dream required the Druids to sleep for many centuries. The time has come, my love. Isera has assured me I will awaken should the Legion ever make their return. Please, Furion. You cannot leave me for Isera's Emerald Dream. I need you with me. Do not worry, Tyranda. Know that as long as we hold true to our love, we will never be truly apart. Just remember, I will always be thinking of you. I... I understand. Take position, sisters. The demons are coming. Hmm. 
It is as was foretold. <laughs> the Legion is ready, my lord. Excellent. The Night Elves won't stand a chance. To arms, warriors. We are the protectors of Nordrassel, and we shall stand united. Your courage will not save you, Stormrage. Press the attack! Demons! Fight on, my warriors. Their forces are depleting. Nothing stands between me and the world tree. Elune! Help us! There's too many. Furion! My strength... falters. You shall go no further, Kil'jaeden. Ilun will give me strength. Tyrande. How very bold, Priestess. Unfortunately, your goddess will not save you this time. I have failed my people. Don't you wish you had the power to stop the demons? is happening. There is no denying it, Furion. Only by possessing true power can you hope to stop the demonic threat. Or watch as the Legion destroys this world. 